Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a new vlog. I am boiling. I slept very poorly last night because it was so hot. So I just made my bed, but then I decided to roll my quilt out of the way. So I rolled it over there just so that there is no heat on the mattress and on the duvet during the day. I mean, there will be a little bit of heat because somebody will probably sit on it. But I think hopefully it'll help it cool down later on tonight. I think I'm going to put my hair in a plait and then I'm going to go to work. It is five to five. I came home from work a couple of minutes ago. I bit the bullet and I bought the quilt that I was on about last week. It's a Japanese quilt, or at least it's a Japanese idea. And on one side it's kind of um, fluffy, I think, from what I read. And on the other side it's like a lighter material, kind of a more smooth, silky material. And that's the side that's supposed to keep you cool and the woolly side can keep you warm. So I'm hoping because I was roasting last night. Then I'm gonna have my dinner. I have some chili that I made yesterday. I had some for my lunch, it was really good. And I just got some bread in hashtag super value. Mum and dad are back tomorrow. And I thought, if they want to have sandwiches tomorrow for their lunch or whatever, at least we've got some fresh bread. I had a very nice dinner, followed by a very nice shower. I did turn on the oil for like 30 minutes while I was having my shower. And the only reason I did it is because I wanted to have a hot or a warm towel when I got out. I didn't like the idea of having like a cold towel. It's quarter to 10. It's not dark yet, but I still decided to close my blind and turn on my light because I'm in the middle of doing my nails. So I just decided to use, they're like gel -X tips for all the world. So they're these short, soft gel tips. And this hand took me like an hour. It is 10.35 and I just finished my nails, so they took just under an hour. Not bad. They're not the best, but they're okay. But now it's time to clean up because there's just stuff to do with my nails everywhere. Okay. This will only take like five minutes. Okay, I'm gonna do it now. Just like that it's clean it took like five minutes i was right so i'm going to change into my pajamas now because it's really warm and i think my pajamas will help cool me down and then i need to take down my hair and figure out what i'm going to do with that probably just sleep with it wet hi everybody i am home from work actually i'm home from work with about an hour mom and dad came home from their holidays today and they got me two little things so the first thing is i have this lovely sign that my mom got me in spain before that says every day is catterday and she got me a matching one that says in a world full of unicorns be a catty corn and she did not realize that they're basically the same thing in different colors same shape and everything she thinks she may have got them in the same shop so i need to find somewhere to put my new cat sign. I'm thinking I might put it with that one. I could always move that one and put them side by side or something like that. I hate when it gets sunny and everybody goes, hey, let's all cut our lawns at once. Those of us with hay fever don't need everybody to cut their lawns at once. Okay? The pollen is bad enough without you adding to that pollen by cutting the grass. Although if it gets it all out of the way in one go, maybe it is better than elongating it out over several days of several people doing lawns. I don't know. I forgot to mention that the first of my this week's deliveries arrived. So I ordered a couple of things on Amazon and I ordered a couple of things on Boots. I have the Boots delivery should be here tomorrow and a couple, but not everything that I bought off of Amazon should also be here tomorrow. I did get the first part of my Amazon delivery today, which was emery boards. I like the shape of these ones and they're 16 in the packet. They weren't that expensive, so I said I might as well try them out and see how I get on. These particular ones I'm going to use for when I want to remove my gels that I buff off the top coat. So I'll use these to buff off that top coat before putting on my, I have the stuff in the bottle that basically just dissolves the gel and it pops off. And I bought some pimple patches and they can't come quick enough because I have a pimple here on my cheek and I'm just a little bit red now, right now because I just washed my face. But uh, this pimple, I need, I need some pimple patches. I'm just about to go to work. I made myself a smoothie and I drank it. It was really good. I decided to start adding blueberries to my breakfast smoothies. And I have my coffee and I'm out the door. Hi, I'm so tired today. I'm so stupid. I'm on my lunch at the moment. And I got to work this morning and realized I'd forgotten my ID, my swipe. 
So, I have a front door key into the building, that's fine. And then I said I would text dad because I need the key to get around the building and to print and stuff and to clock in. Called the person in the office because I saw they were in there, they came in, they opened the door to me internally. Sat down, logged in, clocked in manually. And then I was like, I'll text dad. Left the phone in my car. So, went out to the car to get my phone. Left my keys in the office. I was like, I should just go home, get into bed and get back out and start over. But anyway, after that, dad dropped my swipe down to me and it's been all good ever since. Today I got some deliveries. So I got a package from Boots, which I've already opened. And in it, I got this detangling uh, shower comb. So it has a hook so you can hang it in the shower. It's made of 100% recycled materials. I just think it'd be easier because it has a handle. The one I have at the moment, I have to, it's, it's like up here and I have to brush it down. And then I got my facial wash because I love this stuff. I got toothpaste because I love this stuff. And it is sweet mint, it's such a nice flavor. And then I got this, it's new uh, raspberry and strawberry and raspberry shower gel. Ooh, it really smells fruity. I also got an Amazon delivery, so I got this e.l.f. foundation brush. I've just heard really good things about it. Um, it's kind of fluffy and supposed to buff in the foundation so it makes it look smoother. And then I got this NYX eyebrow gel, just because whenever I do my makeup I always put a little bit of something on my eyebrows and this is supposed to be absolutely like cement. And then I got two packets of um, pimple patches, so I got the these ones that I had before that I really like. And then I got this packet, there is 84 I think in this packet. Um, just decided to try them. I don't know this brand, but I have a pimple here, so hopefully it works. And then I got this package of cardboard. Now, what's in here is um, foil for doing toner transfers. So that's why I bought the laminating machine. And I'm hoping to try it out later on. Now, I'm gonna go have my lunch. I'm finished work for today. So at lunchtime, I put in one of these new pimple patches and I put it on here. It's quite invisible. It doesn't, it's matte, so that's nice because the other ones are not matte and I find it very shiny. So I just put it on this one single pimple here. It stung for a second when I first put it on, but that subsided and it's totally invisible on camera, probably not to the naked eye. So I'm hoping just to leave it on for another couple of hours and see how it works on this pimple, which I think is on the healing side anyway, but was still bothering me. I tried the NYX brow glue. So this is how I normally do my eyebrows. I fluff them up, but then I go over them so that they create this shape. This one I decided to just go up and then just along the top of it, because my hairs are quite long on my eyebrows, I don't cut them. Um, I just went across and I think it is amazing. They feel so sticky, but they feel like they are, they are glued. They're glued down. After being so warm the last couple of days and nights, I'm actually cold, so I put on my dressing gown. I went searching in the attic for a laser printer. So I saw this thing online where you can buy foil, which I have bought today, it came here. There's a process where if you use a laser printer because they use toner, not ink, um, and a laminator, you can basically put the foil and stick it to the toner using heat. Anyway, I was like, oh, well, the old printer that I half own, that's a laser printer. That's there, but I can't find the plug. So I couldn't experiment. I just wanted to see if it would work. That's why I bought the laminator, partially. It was one of the reasons I bought the laminator. Anyway, disappointing. Anyhow, follow along, we'll see what happens. I got this in hashtag super value after work. It's Cadbury. Creamy chocolate caramel flavoured milkshake made with real Cadbury milk chocolate. On the back it says that it's UHT long life chocolate and caramel flavoured milk drink. So I'm thinking it's going to be a bit like a Yazoo maybe. Okay. It smells like a Yazoo. Let's see where we go. I don't know what I expected but it's very thick. Um, I thought it might be a bit watery. Like a Yazoo is a bit more watery. I think that's it. Or like even chocolate milk bit more watery. It's thick. It does taste vaguely of Cabri's and there's a hint of caramel in it. It's nice. I'd probably get it again. They also just have a plain milk chocolate one which I might try. Um, I'm not completely 
against it. It's 25 past 11, I'm just editing my last vlog with the last 25 minutes. I'm gonna wash my face now because I need to remove especially the stuff off my eyebrows. Look, look at that. Look at them barely move. I'm finished work. It is 5 p.m. I came home about 20 minutes ago and then I went looking for my vehicle registration book I needed for something. I asked my father if he could find it. He said he couldn't and then I went to the exact place that I told him I thought it was and there it was. So, okay. Admittedly, it was in a different drawer but that's not the point. I got my cooling blanket. So I opened it at lunchtime. It's crazy. It's wild. I don't know how it works. So here it is. It came in this box and it came wrapped in plastic, but let me show you. I got it in pink to match my bedroom walls and on one side it's this, it's kind of like, they say 100% cotton, so it's kind of, I won't say fluffy, but when you compare it to the other side it is. And then this is the other side and it says that it's, um, I think 80% nylon, 20% polyester, but it's so cold, I don't know how they do it. Now I read online people said that it works quite well but that you may need to like in the middle of the night kind of fluff it like this if you wake up warm but as long as it keeps me cool that's all I care about now tonight is probably not the night to try it because I don't if it if anything like last night was kind of cold the other weird thing that I didn't expect is it's heavy it's it's a little bit weighted you would feel it on you which I don't know what I expected but like if I use just a flat sheet, you wouldn't really even feel it on you. I got it in a 200 centimeter by 220 centimeter size because I have a 200 centimeter dual base, so I thought in around the same size will be good. I just can't get over the fact that there's weight to it. I don't know why I'm so surprised by this. So it says that this is the Arc Chill. That's the brand Arc Chill cooling blanket, cooling like no other. And it says Arc Chill is a Japanese textile research center focused on cooling fiber. The cooling fibers we produce have been put through rigorous testing by Japan's Boken organization and can actually help calm your mind and relax your body. And then it's talking about how it's a cooling nylon polyester fiber that incorporates jade nanoparticles, which wick away humidity from the skin and absorb excess body heat to reduce the skin temperature by two to five degrees Celsius. And then it talks about jade being a mineral, uh, treasured in healthcare and beauty treatments, can promote skin metabolism, maintain skin moisture, relieve muscle fatigue and relax the body. Um, and then it talks about the benefits of this blanket being that sleeping in a cool environment promotes sleep, helps combat restlessness, insomnia, improves cellular repair and muscle, excuse me, and memory consolidation and delays the signs of aging. I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna have some of my kefir yogurt, which I actually looked it up. Kefir, K-E-I-F-R, or however you spell it. It's actually, I think, Eastern European or Turkish area that it's associated with. The Icelandic one I was thinking of is S-K-Y-R, and that is the cultured dairy product from Iceland. I let my hair dry naturally. All I did was put a little bit of this in. It's the John Frieda Frizzies. I didn't brush it yet. I went downstairs and actually just as I went downstairs, my dad's cousin arrived, so him and his daughter were here for a while and we were chatting and I ended up not having my kefir at all. But it's only half ten, so I might go down and have some now. And then I took my hair out of my towel and left it dry. I'm just gonna brush it now and then I think I'll tie it up and that'll be it. It's still wet underneath, but the top of it is dry. It's very annoying. It's so cold. I decided to put on my dressing gown and I have slippers on and I just washed and moisturized my face. It's just gone midnight. I'm going to go down and get my cat. I am going to have some of my kefir while I'm down there because I keep forgetting to have it and then I'm going to go to sleep. So if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up, maybe share it, subscribe if you want to see more of my face. And if you want to follow me and all my socials, my details are in the link in the doobly-doo down below. They're also at the end of the video. That's it for me today. TTFN.